Hey everybody, Steve. We're back again. We're going to talk about session three of CPT for PTSD this week. Um, <clears throat> I've got, as usual, all my handouts sitting right in front of me. And um, this one's this is where things are going to start getting really, really repetitive uh, in nature. You're going to do things differently each time you progress through this. Like we're going to change the worksheets that you're working on. They're going to go a little bit deeper into processing the thoughts instead of just writing them out and trying to figure out whether it's good or bad. Um, but during this session, <clears throat> there's two key things that you have to do. Number one, you have to write out your event. Writing out your event is it's an experience. Um, Writing out your event also means that you're not just going to write out and say, hey, this happened, this blew up, this person died. That's not writing out your event. Writing out your event is it, it should include all of your, uh, all the things that you saw, you felt, you heard, you smelled, everything that you can think of. Be as precise as possible when you write out your uh, your event story, because that's going to help reguide and um, reshape where you're going. Also, don't forget to include the thoughts that were there at the time, because that's extremely important. Because that's your that's your processing, right? Your processing is your thoughts, and and how you deal with your thoughts is going to be what you're working to improve here. But um, another thing about session three is it's Again, this is where it gets more repetitive. You're going to be doing a lot more homework. And most of your session, um, moving from here forward, not all of it, but most of it, is going to be you reviewing your homework, your counselor or therapist helping you walk through and make sure that your homework is being done fully clear, make sure that you're on the right track, maybe course correct a little bit with you, but um, most sessions from here on out are going to be exactly like this. You're going to cover your homework. Well, the therapist is going to see how you're doing, cover your homework, and see how you're progressing. Add a couple things here and there, adding a couple worksheets here and there, adding a couple examples here and there of things and how to process things and just the informational you know, handouts. But... This, this session is working with events, thoughts, and feelings. And like I said, you're going to write out your event. And not only will you write out your event, but I suggest you do that on like the first or second day after your session. And give yourself time to read that over and over to yourself before you come back in. Because when you come back in, you will read it aloud. Or at least that's what I had to do. And reading it aloud broke me. I mean, just completely broke me. I was, I was living the experience again and it's, it's a, it's a tough thing to go through. So, um, you know, fair warning again, uh, I'm not trying to make this sound dismal. I'm not trying to make it sound like a waste of time. I'm not trying to make it sound like anything more than what it is. And it's helped me tremendously. Um, so I hope it helps you as well. So let's talk about this. Um, in session three, you're going to work with two different things. You're going to be working with your stuck points log. This is a newer one um, compared to the last one. You can tell because there's a ton of lines on here. Um, that was for session two, three, and four. We used that same stuck points log because there were so many of them. And what you're going to do in session three, after you've reviewed everything from session two, is you're going to start talking through how to really start getting better at these ABC worksheets. And your therapist should send you home with six of those. Uh, one for every day between your sessions, right? So if your session is on Thursday, you're going to want one for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because you're going to be back in the office again on, on Thursday or meeting again on Thursday, whatever your scenario or your, uh, your meeting place and, and therapy where it consists of being at. Um, <clears throat> but I want to dive a little bit into the worksheet, the ABC worksheet, right? This one here. Um, 
it gets hard to write one new one every day. Uh, but if there were multiple facets to what happened in your traumatic event, you should be able to get in here. So an activating event, it, it, that's the A and the ABC, an activating event. That means something happened. Um, you know, and I've got two examples here. Um, one of them was the actual event that, that happened, which was a plane crash. Um, and it was off the coast of San Diego. And so that was the event. The plane crash happened off the coast of San Diego. And anybody who's in the military understands as soon as that happens, every single flight, you know, all the flights come to a standstill. Everything stops. The military doesn't do another thing until they determine the safety of everybody else going out and doing stuff. So the plane crash off the coast of San Diego was the event. Um, the belief or stuck point, the belief is the B. It's what you tell yourself. And my belief was, hey, if I'd have been in charge of this specific aspect, maybe this wouldn't have happened. And that is something that I got stuck on for a very long time. Uh, it, it, it beat me up quite a bit. And then the C is the consequence. So the consequence is I feel something after getting stuck on that stuck point. So the crash happened. I could have possibly stopped it. If I'd have been involved, I could have possibly stopped it. And then the consequence is you sit there and you, you wish and you dwell in this. You wish you could go back and change it. Um, you start dealing with the anger about the thing. You start dealing with the guilt, the shame, um, things that, you know, maybe you should have done, maybe you should have said, etc. So those are the A, B, and C. Activating event, belief stuck point, and consequence. And then there's two questions on the bottom here. And uh, are my thoughts above in B, the beliefs or stuck points, are they realistic or helpful? This can be they're realistic, but they're not helpful. They're realistic and they're helpful. They're not realistic, but they are helpful, or they're not either. Um, those are your real big options, quite honestly. Um, feel free to embellish into why you think it's realistic and why you think it's helpful or vice versa. Um, I kept my answers very simple. It's easier for me to talk than it is for me to write out all this stuff. So, um, you know, mine were, you know, are my thoughts above in column B on this specific one where I said I could have stopped it? Are they realistic or helpful? No, neither. None of the above. I wasn't part of it. I couldn't change the past if I tried to. So it's not realistic and it's not helpful to think that way or to get stuck that way. And then the next one is what can I tell myself on such occasions in the future? And that's where you really start finding ways to change your perception. Um, one of the things that I would have to do is it wouldn't have made a difference. It potentially would not have made one bit of difference had I been involved in that event, right? <clears throat> um, also, I can't change it now. I can't go backward. I, you know, time travel, whether it exists or not, I've never found it. So um, that's what you really need to dig into on these ABC worksheets. And again, fill one out per day and take those and bring those with you and you'll already know this because in session two, I think we gave out some ABC worksheets and you worked on at least one of them in session two and brought it back with you, started talking through it. Hopefully you've gotten some good guidance on how to address that, um, how to you know get better at filling out these ABC forms. And let me tell you, you're going to be filling out six of everything moving forward. It's... It's going to be, an, it, you know, it takes 10 minutes a day, maybe, maybe 10 minutes a day. Some days it'll take 15 minutes, but 10 minutes a day and, you know, the benefit that you get out of it at the end, the way that you start reshaping, you know, you're, you're looking through this lens and it's all kinds of distorted and then it just, the vision just gets clearer and clearer until it's completely clear and you have a better way of thinking about things. So. All right. Um, I know this is a shorter video than the others. It's going to be short videos from here on out. 
We're going to get straight to the point of what's going on with each one of these sessions. And we're going to talk about the work that you're going to do during them. Um, be prepared. Uh, go in with an open mind. Be completely transparent. And really get these things knocked out and learn from them. That's all I can tell you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.